Hey guys, um, in this part of the flip template tutorial, I will show you how to use backend layouts. Um, in the last video, we saw how to use uh, website template. So now we will um, add backend layouts to our website. So first of all, add a folder to the roof level right here and name it layouts. Okay, so now you can go in list mode right here and we will add a new record to our uh, layout folder. Uh, we'll add a backend layout right here. Um, we'll call it home. So this backend layout will be used for our home page. Um, by the way, backend layouts are used to define the way um, the content will be rendered in the backend. It won't affect the front end. It's just to, um, to, to define how it will be displayed in the backend. So our home page will be um, divided into two columns. So now here you can add rows. You can delete them. You can also add columns. So um, our home page will have two columns like that right here. So now click on edit cell. Um, we'll name it left content. And its column number will be zero. Um, column number will be useful um, in the next videos where we will talk about um, the type of script configuration of flip templates. So remember that number. Save to cell. And now this is our right content with um, a column number of 1. Okay, save this. Save this once again. And now we'll add a new backend layout for our content. So its name is content, and it will only have one row and one column. So we won't change anything here. We'll just name it content, and its column number will be zero. Save, save. Okay, now we'll add our backend layout to our pages. So now, on the root level, we'll edit the root right here, and in the headrest tab, we will set back and layout the page of this page to content. So all the page of this website will have the content back and layout. Okay, now for our home page, we will edit it right here, and in the headrest tab. We will um, set back and layout this page only to home. So only this page will have the home back and layout. Okay, now as you can see, um, our home page is divided into two columns right content and left content. And our other page are only have one row and one column the content column. So um, that's it for this part of the tutorial. Um, in the next video, I will show you how to configure fluid template with TypeScripts. Thank you for watching.